Hello and welcome. Today we'll be looking at longitude and latitude. We'll focus on the shortest distance between two points. The shortest distance between two points. So we have equation here and I would like you to stick to the end of this video because I have a very interesting question to ask you. So let's use this question to understand how we solve shortest distance between two points. It says, by road, Enugu and Zaria are 442 kilometers apart. Their positions are 6.5 degrees north, 7.5 degrees east, and 11.1 .1 degrees north, 7.5 degrees east, respectively. Calculate their shortest distance apart. Calculate their shortest distance apart. So with any longitude and latitude question, the first thing you want to do is to draw out the diagram. And drawing out the diagram is easy. Okay, so let's draw this diagram. First of all, we draw the earth. We draw the earth. Okay, so that will be the first thing to do. And then you can drop to like a perpendicular line that goes from up from the North Pole to the South Pole, okay? And then from East to West, like this. Now, these points where they meet will be like the center of the Earth, okay? Like the center of the Earth. Let me show you with the ball. If I have this ball, right, and I drop a pin, like right through it, from here down, and then from here to this point, outside here where the meet where this pin going down and coming out from here and this water one going from here and coming out from here where they meet at the center that will be this part here okay so that you understand what that center is what i'm talking about all right now the next thing is to locate the points that you are giving for any point on the earth's surface we can use two markers to indicate it two coordinates the longitude and the latitude okay and when we are given this point we are first given the latitude before the longitude the latitude always before the longitude okay so for this one for zari for enugu enugu is 6.5 degrees north now where is not the longitude latitude are the ones that go like this all the ones that go this way, you know, horizontally like this, they are the, the latitude. And north is, from this line upwards is north, and then down from this line downwards is south. So it means that 6.5 degrees north will be above this line, above this line. So it goes from this line, this line is the zero degrees, it goes from this line up to 90 degrees. So we can mark our 6.5. Let's just say this is our 6.5. Okay? That is 6.5 degrees north and then 7.5 degrees east. Now for latitude, latitude, longitude are the ones that go from up down. You know, all these ones that go from up down. They are the longitude. And this side, your right hand side, is the east direction why your left hand side is the west direction so from this line to this side east from this line this way is west so 7.5 degrees east so we are going to mark it like so okay all right so we have indicated this first point so this will be where enugu will be this point here where they meet then for zaria Zaria is 11.1 .1 degrees north. 11.1 .1 degrees north. It means it is above this one. This one is 6.5. And we are going from 0 to 90, right? So it means 11 will be on top of 6.5. So I can mark it like this. Now, these markings are not exact. You don't need to make it exact. I'm just trying to make it, you know, give space so that you understand it will be visible. If not, I would have drawn them close together. Like 6.5 and 11.5 needs to be a little bit close together. 
But I'm giving this space so that there will be space for us to see what we are drawing. Then 7.5 degrees east is the same thing with this other one. 7.5 degrees east, 7.5 degrees east. So both of them are on the same longitude. Okay? So this will be our Zaria. So this is Zaria and then this is Enugu. And remember that this is the center of our Earth. Okay. Now, we want to calculate the shortest distance apart. Now, anytime you're asked to calculate the shortest distance between two points, it is usually the, line, the distance along a great cycle. And what is a great cycle? A great cycle is any cycle on the Earth that has a radius of the Earth. Okay? So, like these ones, all these lines of longitude, all of them have the radius of the Earth. But the ones... Lati latitude okay you can see this one and this one they don't have the same radius this one is bigger than this one now the only one that has the radius of the earth is this one at the center which is the equator that is for latitude but for longitude all the lines of longitude are great cycles so it means we are looking for the distance between zaria and enugu along this great cycle so this is the distance we are looking for, okay? That will be the shortest distance between the two points. Now, from the center of the Earth, I'll, I can draw, I can just draw the radius, okay? So this will be like the radius. Now, from here, you can see we have formed an arc, okay? We have formed an arc. This is the radius of the Earth, this one. This one also is the radius of the Earth, so we have formed something like an arc this way. We have formed an arc. This is Zaria, Z. This is Enugu. This point is this point. And then this one is this angle here. This angle here. And then from here is the center of the Earth here. To this side is the radius of the Earth. This one too, from here to here, is also the radius of the Earth. So now it becomes easy for us to calculate what ZE will be because that is the length of an arc, okay? And what would be this angle here? This angle, remember this one is latitude 11 degrees, 11.1 11 degrees north, right? Why this one is latitude 6.5 degrees north, 6.5 degrees north. So what would be the angle between this and this we we'll just subtract 11.1 minus 6.5 that is 4. Point, that is 4.6 right yes 4.6 so this is 4.6 degrees so this angle is 4.6 degrees so it's now easy for us to calculate this will be ze which is the length of the arc is theta over 360 times 2 pi r and theta in this case is 4.6 over 360 times 2 pi is 27 22 over 7 then radius is 6400 that is what we are given the radius of the x so you can now impute this in your calculator let me do it quickly let me get my calculator right Cis 4.6 4.6 divide 360 times 2 times 22 times 6400 then divide by 7 so we have 514 514 kilometers that would be the shortest distance between Enugu and Zaria. All right. Now I said I have an interesting question for you. Remember, we are say, we said they said by road Enugu and Zaria is 742 kilometers. But now we have gotten the shortest distance between them. This from here to here as 514. Can you explain why we have this difference? Why is it different? Why is this one bigger, far farther than this one? Or longer than this one okay I would like you to put your answer in the comments if you 
if you got it before, because I'm, I'm going to tell you what, why it is. But if you got the answer before I say it, I'd like you to put it in the comment. Now, you know that um, the earth is not just, you know, a perfect sphere like that. There are many, you know, landforms, things like mountains, valleys, you know, and when, we cons when engineers construct road, they consider costs, you know, is it economical to, you know, try to break the mountains and make the road just straight that way? Or will it be more economical if they try to bypass that road? Um, that mountain or that hill or that valley, okay? What about um, rivers? Will it be an economical to build, you know, a bridge on top of the river? Or will it be more economical to go, you know, around it? So, considering all of these things, you can see that the road extension, the length of the road will be getting longer and longer because you'll be having curves trying to negotiate the landforms like mountains, like rivers, seas, and all of that. So that is why we will not have the shortest distance between the two points to be exactly, you know, this. We'll have it longer than this. All right. If you enjoyed this video, why not like it? So YouTube can show this video to more people. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload new and interesting videos like this.